How the heck are you everybody? I'm Fastidious and welcome to my channel. And welcome to day two of my free to play series for Watcher of Realms. I wanna get right in there today because we have a ton to do. We have 32 summons, a boatload of progress, and we're gonna do some guild boss. Let's hop on in. Fastidious. Fastidious. I figure let's start out with some pulls. Uh, this is 11 pulls I did overnight, so it's pre-recorded because I did it on mobile. Um, so let's start off with the tenor. I wonder what could happen. And it's all blue. Uh, and I will say, not even the best all blue you're going to see. We got like, what, seven greens in there. Uh, we did get a dupe Voltus. And finally, we're going to do one more single pull. Hopefully we get some color here. <laughs> I know what's going to happen. Yes, we do. It's purple. And that's going to be a dupe Lightlock. Here we go, guys, day two. We made a ton of progress, but I think this should be a lot more of a coherent, smooth video uh, than the day one videos were because everything's not totally fresh and new. We kind of have a baseline now, so even as we catch up on all the progression and everything we've gotten done, um, we can kind of do it in one go now and really be comprehensive and not a crazy random montage thing. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's actually pick up, pick up from where I left off. So you see we're on chapter eight now of the normal campaign, and this is a pretty big milestone for us. Um, as you can see, I just fully cleared uh, chapter seven. So we did 715, and I think we're gonna start off with a little rant. Uh, so this game's really great, I'm really enjoying it, but there's definitely some things for me that I would like to see changed, mostly in the UX user experience kind of realm. So let me just show you. So just, just to catch up, uh, the way most of the chapters have worked so far, um, is, you know, you do the chapter, it's like between 12 and 16 stages of the chapter, and usually the end is the boss fight and it's harder. Um, so you see a big difficulty spike, and the difficulty spike here for chapter 7, I found to be like the first proper challenge. We like cruise through all of chapter 7, I believe, maybe we struggled slightly somewhere, but then 15 was like a whole nother monster, and it took us, we didn't, I didn't even re revisit for almost the entire day, till right now, when we finally beat it. Um, but that brings me to the rant. So you're cruising through the chapter, chapter seven, you're fine, or maybe some other chapter, wherever you're, you're competent, you're comfortable, and then finally reach the boss and it's difficult. And there's a big difficulty spike, so you're probably gonna fail your first time, or your first two times, or your first 20 times, or your first 40 times, as you slowly wanna figure it out. But when you go onto the boss stage, at least this one on 715, there's this tiny little cinematic where Ludwig, the guy here says, fate of death awaits. And then now I can control my players and okay, now we can put down gluttony, right? Okay, but I failed. So now I'm gonna restart. Okay, I have to watch this cinematic again. Kind of annoying, but whatever. It's only like four or five seconds of my life. Maybe it's more seconds, I don't know. But you know, less than 10 seconds, fate of death awaits you. Okay, here we go. Nope, uh, that wasn't a good idea. Let me start over. Okay, they're gonna make, they do it every time, man. Every time, and I know it's not such a big deal, but this is driving me bonkers. And they have little cinematics or little moments like this that are like, you can't just start grinding right away that, that truly drive me nuts. I'm gonna do it one more time just so you guys get frustrated because this, I want, you to feel, I want you to feel what I'm feeling. So like maybe you finally think you figured out the perfect strategy, which is like, what happened to me? And it's like, I just can't wait to get it out. And you know, the game's, the cost is with time and this and this, and you wanna get everything out, whatever. Oh man, it was, whatever, we beat it. Um, and I think we had a really good strategy in the end. Uh, not so novel, we've done more novel things already that I'd also be happy to share. If you guys would be interested in guides on this like early game kind of stuff, I know there's tons of guides out there for like expert campaign or like later stage gear raids. Um, but there's not so much like early and early mid-game stuff. This is certainly not mid-game, but you know what I mean. Uh, if, if you think it'd be useful, I'd, I'd be really happy to make it. Uh, but I guess it'd have to be sooner rather than later, later before my account gets too good for it. Uh, but as of now, we're really doing everything by the exact skin of our teeth, which is a good transition into checking in on, on what we've been up to. Uh, so I think the best place always is probably to start with heroes. You can really get a sense. We have seen a lot of growth since last time because I finally did start farming the skill raid dungeon a bit the ex for the experience. Uh, but I'm doing, like I said, the ab by the skin of our teeth, the absolute minimum because I wanted to wait till we got to chapter eight and now we're gonna finally unlock the final skill raid dungeon uh, where we get the most experience. Um, but you see, we have some five-star champions. We have three of them. Um, I have not been focusing on leveling people once I get promotions, because those levels are kind of negligible. I'd rather put that into fodder to make more five-star champions and then eventually six-star, so on, so on. 
Uh, but you can kind of see we have a real shape to our roster now. However, our gear is still pretty random. We do have some legendary pieces. We'll get into gear aids in a second. Uh, and you'll see we ha we a lot less blue, um, especially on like our top guys, uh, which I say are these four. We These are our two damage dealers. We basically have the one marksman, and we have, kind of have two mages, but you know, uh, Voltus is, is he's barely hanging on right now. Um, and then we have our defender. Baron's amazing. I'm sure I'll make a, a, a total high spotlight video just for him. He's uh, him and then the next guy, Vortex. These are the, the best characters on our account. And then I'd say our, our fifth most important character for sure is Gluttony, um, who, again, it's still really early game. So maybe he drops off. But right now, you know, he has he put some stats on him. He only has a block of two, I believe. Um, we can check that really fast. Uh, yeah, if you had a block of three, I know that'd probably be rare for a fighter. Um, let me know in the comments, guys. I haven't found a fighter yet that has a block of three, but I'm assuming there must be some. Uh, that'd be, then he'd really be awesome, but, uh, but he's doing the job. Aside from that, it's kind of the same old, we're doing lots and lots of triple healer stuff. You know, you kind of just play the cards you've been dealt. Um, and then speaking of playing the cards we've been dealt, I've been using Cratch. Uh, we really are hurting for marksmen. We're hurting for DPS, period. I mean, we've pulled uh, two epic defenders now. We've pulled four, because we pulled the two light locks. We've pulled four epic healers, um, and, but then just the two fighters, but even Dallin, is, she's super neat. She, we're not really using her at all anymore. Um, I'll talk about her at a different point. I don't want to talk about Dallin right now. But then, yeah, with DBS, we had the one scripted pull of a marksman, and then we had the one mage, and, and Amani is really good. Um, however, she's... She's more of like Navros, or if you know champions like this, where her, her attacks go all around and hit everyone, and she hits really hard, which is really good, but it's not like someone where, where she's actually doing a single shot area of effect. She's doing like a bunch of shots in an area, so there's an area effect kind of ability. I hope that makes sense. Uh, which does make her a lot better for like the guild boss and stuff like that, but not as good for just single nuking big you know, blasts of a cannon on, on waves of mobs that come at us. So that kind of catches you up to speed. Um, I should probably just show you the gear. The gear is better. You know, we have, we have blue pieces, um, lots of flat stats, but like I said before, uh, we'll, we'll make a gear guide as well, guys, but um, flat stats this early on are kind of fine. I would say once your champions are at like five star, actually I can do a quick demonstration. Uh, you definitely want to graduate from flat stats. Um, so let's see, we have flat, actually I, I still have flat honor. Uh, that's probably because I don't have an option. Uh, I do, but I put it, I have been using Lightlock a lot as a healer and he needs tons of attack, but I'll just show you, this should be a pretty clear difference. Actually, this piece should have been honored to begin with. This is a, for an epic, you know, rage regen, but then a pretty good flat attack roll underneath. So just look at the difference from here. And, and it does have the flat attack roll, so it's gonna be even more than it would be. But we have uh, 2016, so we just really need to look at this number. 2139 is the addition. Um, so let's replace that with Lightlock's piece. And yeah, we jump up over 400 points. Um, it's not always gonna be that drastic, but you can imagine if that's at plus eight. Imagine it was plus 12 is plus 16 once we have mythic gear. It's gonna make a big, big difference. Let's actually throw that ring back on, the new ring on Lightlock before we forget. Actually, that, that one's gonna be nice and good for Lightlock with a little HP for some survivability. Okay, enough of that, guys. Um, I kind of want to highlight now some of our champions in action. I've been saving my guild fights. It's not the end of the day. We're, it's almost the very end of day two, but once we beat chapter 17, it felt like a perfect moment. We have enough for our final summons now. And I figured let's just hop on in and film. Um, I've been, we'll just do one fight of the guild boss. We're still really, really bad at the guild boss. Um, my, I don't know how, we must have some whales in our guild or something. Like, how are they already killing Nightmare 1? Excuse me, 1. I think the guild started like one or two days before I joined. So the guild's like three or four days old right now. Um, so actually, we should just check. We must, shout out to these guys. We have some real monsters. Nalacy putting up 2244. Uh, maybe these are people from our cluster going to help because she's level 48. Or maybe she just, she goes hard. Uh, but yeah, look at these numbers. We're <laughs> maybe we'd get one. Um, anyway, let's start with normal, I'd say. Uh, we, uh, as you saw in the picture from uh, the screen grab I took yesterday, we did get max rewards on easy already. Um, uh, so why not do, yeah, okay, let's, let's try normal and let's hop on in. I guess we'll just run this team. We don't need to overthink anything. That's what I used last time. It must be good, right? 
Um, we're really hurting though, because uh, like, like you know, we don't have so much DPS, but basically what we're gonna do is try to time it out for when he does his drag and spit thing. Um, excuse me, let me restart that. Every, time is money, guys. All, all, every second of cost is important. Um, so we're just gonna go in order of who I think our biggest hitters are gonna be. Um, Voltus won't be that good, but now we just gotta start putting people down. Will he reach? Yes, he will reach. And then I like to use Nisande for the attack speed boost, which honestly I think might be kind of neg 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 negligible. Um, but it is what it is. So for everyone else, I'm gonna wait till it comes to the, dra I think it's the dragon spit is the really destructive one or destructive spit, whatever he calls it. Uh, we got room for one more guy. Uh, where to put him? We'll just, this guy sucks, but we, we just don't have the options. But for everyone else, I'm gonna save their ults for the dragon spit. Thing with, uh, excuse me, with Amani, she's ready to go like right from the beginning. Like she almost has full energy when things start off. Uh, so there's no reason not to just use her right away and then let her charge back up. And you see her ult lasts like forever. So that's Dragon Claw. I think Dragon Claw's his last special move. We can run defensive stuff. Um, so defensive ultimates on Baron. I think that's his last special move. But yeah, destructive spit. So now we're gonna try to pop off. I'm kind of disappointed uh, in Brienne because she takes so long to charge her ult up. However, we're gonna comfortably make it. Um, I will use her ult already right now. Okay, so we made that so comfortably. I know we don't have to save for the second one, or I, I'm pretty confident saying that, but we probably will have to save for the third one. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys are using Brienne, if you got her as your starter Pokemon or whatever, um, or if you pulled her, because uh, she's like good, but uh, on the other account I had been using before I started up this one and started the series, um, Theowin was my main epic marksman, who's one of the other options you can get from the scripted pulls. Uh, and I I also had Brienne uh, there, but Theowin was the main guy I was using, and I, I definitely prefer him. Maybe it's just the kind of content I was doing, or maybe it's early game. It's cool that she has some AoE abilities. I mean, he has slight AoE too, but that ult takes forever to charge up, and then, yeah, I don't know. All right, we're gonna save Amani now. Or no, I said this, this one doesn't matter, so yeah. For the third one, we would have saved her though. Um, let me know if you guys are enjoying uh, the guild hunt or the guild boss, whatever they call it. Uh, I think it's fine. I think it's, it's, there's definitely more thoughtful things you can do if you have like, you're using someone like Cuke and you're using more damage over time kind of stuff. I think guild boss is something we'll be thinking about maybe later on this first week or even the second week. Cause right now it's, it's, I don't know. I think the rewards, I, I can really go through it. I don't know if the percentage drops, but I checked a lot of the chests and they seem fairly comparable um, between like easy, normal, hard. I think Nightmare did seem a lot better, but I don't think we really stand a chance there yet. Um, so yeah, okay, so he just went down again. I don't remember what the threshold was for this one, but we will just save the ults. You can see we're starting to run, run out of time. Uh, that's always my problem with these early ones. Because uh, like one healer tends to keep them alive, but then just we don't have enough DPS to hit the thresholds. But if we, it'd be a, it'd be a cool accomplishment if second day we're already able to get second best chest on this or something. Right, we will hold Brienne. We're gonna hold Voltus. Hopefully everyone charges up. But yeah, yeah, I'm it, I'm definitely gonna be interested to go back and watch. We'll use him because he's useless anyway. Um, I'd be interested to go watch this video in a couple weeks when I have a better understanding of how the mechanics of this all works uh, and, and see how, how silly I'm being right now. But there's Dragon Claw, so Destructive Spit should be really, really, really soon, I hope. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. So let's see, we can kind of track it. Yeah, are we gonna, this is gonna be, this is really close. I think we're slightly in the lead. Oh, we're gonna make it. Okay, cool, come on, come on. I clicked Baron there, not that it really matters, but I think we get some damage when his shield explodes. Okay, I think 240 was for the second one, I think, I hope. So we should have locked in a decent chest for our account right now. And I think we're doing well enough that we can try hard. So I won't do that on the video now. I'll check in with you guys about it tomorrow, but uh, it will be cool to see. Um, I bet you we can at least get the, the, the worst chest on it. Um, probably not much more than that, but that'd be sufficient, I think. Wow, this, is a, this is a long battle. This is, this is pretty boring, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> right, let's just get 300 and then I'm happy. Come on, come on guys, stay up, stay up, stay up. Are we gonna get it? If we can get anyone's ult off, just throw down some new people. 11 more, okay, Brienne, you got it. You got this girl. Oh, 
now, now, now the timer's clicking. Okay, we made it, we made it. Yes, okay, that, that feels good. L let me know if you've been playing for longer than me. Is 300 good uh, for day two? It feels, feels like a solid number, I don't know. Especially once we uh, really start skilling these guys up uh, from the raid. I think it could be cool. Okay, I'm ready for this to end so I can show you guys more of the account. Definitely. Uh, and then we got pulls today. Um, I think these are gonna be our last, like what I'm considering the newbie pulls, like pulling outside of events, outside of, uh, you know, 2X events, outside of special tournaments uh, or event uh, events where you earn rewards and stuff. Um, but, but yeah, those, hopefully we find something special. Okay, that was max rewards. Okay, cool. So it was only 220 we needed. So that makes me think maybe we can even get like the second chest in hard. I don't know. How much do we need for that? 100? Could we get 100 in hard? I'll do it uh, in like an hour after this. Anyway, um, so we unlocked the faction trial. Now I'll just give you guys a little tour. Um, stage three was, we beat it comfortably, but it wasn't like easy. So I didn't try stage four. I think we'll probably just farm stage three. I'll give stage four like one quick go once we do some more level ups. Um, but yeah, tide is like super easy. Um, what else do we have? Resource raids. Uh, yeah, like I said, uh, stage six is where we've been. I've done a handful of harming, but really the absolute minimum. To explain exactly why you want to get to stage seven of the experience raid as fast as possible, I made a little infographic for you guys. Um, well, first off, you need to be farming XP, period, and stage seven is the max level you can get to. So as I've mentioned before, week one, same as year one, right? Um, but here I broke it down so you'll see the amount of experience you get per run divided the amount of stamina divided by the amount of stamina it costs. So for stage four, it's 3200 divided by 20, 4500, 22 for stage five, so on and so on. Um, and then if we look at the two columns on the right, you'll see what experience you're getting per stamina. So one energy. So per stamina cost, how much experience you get. So stage four is 160, stage five is 204.5, stage six is 229. Uh, stage seven, the, the holy grail, is 29.5. Then I've also made a column, just experience over stamina with the bonus. So if you have 2x experience going on and everything's literally just doubled. But when, most importantly, let's look at the bottom line. So stage seven is gonna have a much stronger yield per energy, per stamina consumed uh, than all the other stages. But here I just com compared to stage six, which is the next best, sta best stage, and you're getting 27.3% more experience. So that really adds up over time, right? So you, you kind of can't put it into words. So basically if you're getting, instead of getting 600,000 experience, you're gonna get over 750,000 experience. Um, hope that clears it up. Let's get back to the video. Um, for gold raid, yeah. Just just started chapter two of hard and we will talk about hard in a second. That's how you unlock those gold raid stages. Uh, but that's not relevant to us now because they throw us so much free gold at the beginning. Promotion, this is a good sign of places where I push. And I actually pushed before filming to try to give you guys a sense. So we're at stage 13. We did not fully three star stage 12. Uh, one or two guys got through. So that's for marksmen. Uh, for mages, same exact deal. Um, these only don't have blue just because I, I did those long ago, but 12 I just did and, and yeah, we, we had to let one or two guys sur uh, go through and can survive. But I think that's pretty good considering how weak we are in those two departments. Um, endurance is pretty good for us. Uh, we're doing like a full proper clear on 12. I mean, it's kind of what you'd expect when we're like only pulling healers and defenders. Melee, I have not really put too much effort into because yeah, we, we are using for the vast majority just ranged units. Um, I haven't tried this, but I'm almost certain we would not survive it. Um, and yeah, we just unlocked the artifact material raid, but I'm not gonna do that yet. Um, I'll do it after filming. Uh, I do suggest originally pushing as far as you can, but I suspect you'll probably only get to like stage four or five, um, unless you have great melee damage uh, or just a couple really OP champions early on. I mean, later on those should be a cakewalk, uh, but yeah. I think that basically covers all of those bases. I think we're nearly ready for the good stuff. Um, I can show you the storyline. They want us to get five legendary pieces uh, from gear raid three, which actually we can do. Oh, I didn't show you the gear raids, of course. Um, so gear raid one, we'll just start there. Uh, we made it through stage nine. I haven't tried stage 10, but like, I think there's basically no way, not until we pull someone better or like one more mage at least, uh, but probably like tomorrow <laughs> we'll be able to do it because hopefully we're gonna get something amazing from these pulls, right? Um, gear raid two, I haven't tried since we were able to get six. 
Uh, but I basically kind of had to cheese this one using Decimus, the rare champion. You should look him up. I'm sure I will talk about him extensively when we fully go through Gear Raid 2 strategy. But he's like the perfect, just like throw him out, meat shield, rare, totally unleveled. And then he survives some of those rolling uh, bomb guys. Uh, and then Gear Raid 3 is the only place we put any real work. Uh, we were farming 6 because we needed to get some epics for one of the quests. So that's how we got some of the... Uh, accessory artifacts or accessory gear on our account excuse me however i did it like maybe four or five runs just for that quest to see to try to get the legendary gear and they don't list the drop rates which i wish they did but i'm thinking it's got to be like 10 or 15 percent for a gold piece for a legendary piece and to me it's not worth it so i've kind of self-selected this as the moment to stall out on our hero's path until hopefully we pull someone really good or we scale up more people or so on and so on and then we can try to push this once we're at say seven or eight or nine um or you know let's check it i think it's 10 where we can where we're guaranteed it yeah god forbid 10 and then we know we're gonna get at least legendary that that might be a couple more days um however i do want to take this moment while we're in the raid section to maybe give a tip uh i think it probably best applies to the promotion raids but it also could in gear never be afraid to one thing that i really enjoy about this game um especially compared to some other gotchas that i won't name is when you fail you don't lose energy i think you only lose energy if some for some reason you like quit out of an auto fight or if it somehow fails on an auto fight i think uh which i don't think i've ever failed on an auto fight because they give you that buff that 30 percent buff but uh yeah like let's say you're at stage five trying to get all those epics, right? Because the, the quest I had uh, several quests ago in the Hero's Path was like, you know, get three pieces of Twisted Blade epics of each type and equip them to someone and make them plus eight. If you're going to keep going and going and going here, um, trying to get those Twisted Blade epics, like uh, do the math, right? Even on the stage five, which has, I'm assuming of all of these, the highest probability to drop epics, I can't imagine it's more than like one in three, right? So you have a one in three chance that you're going to get the set you want. And then... And this is best case scenario. One in three chance you're gonna get the set you want. And then once you have that set, it's a one in two chance that you're gonna get Twisted Blade versus uh, Occult, I think is the other one. So then you're looking at like a one in six chance, but I think it's probably a lot lower than that. Whereas here, um, and, th and then think about what it's like if you want a specific piece, right? So let's say you had the ring and you had the, whatever they call the other one, the, the bramble, or I forget what it's called, but you need the amulet. So then you're going for one specific thing out of the three and then one out of three, it's compounding. It's, it's a low percent chance and you're really hunting for it. Whereas here, you know, baseline, you're already gonna get the right rarity. So then you're just going for the one out of three for the kind you need, uh, the slot you need times one out of two for the set you need. So it's like one in six chance once you start getting picky and specific as opposed to something a lot high, higher. Um, so always feel free to go ahead and try a little higher and maybe make your odds a little better and not waste your energy. But moreover, the number one place I would say to, to push above your skin whenever you're ready, even if you can't be like farming there, if you can just make it through, which is why you've seen something like this where I didn't three star it so like I can't farm stage 12, but I did it, is the first clear rewards are so good. Um, so like, I think all of these were like eight gold insignias, eight, uh, marksman number three insignias, which was like really huge for us. Like I needed some for Cratch cause I wanted to bring him to promotion four, or I did the same thing for gluttony on the melee attacks, uh, or mages, uh, was like super useful for, um, oh my God, what's her name? Getting, uh, oh, I can't believe I forgot her name. Our girl it ends in a knee, right? Amani. Yeah, get, getting her up as fast as possible, you know? Just those first clear rewards are, are super, super useful. Um, finally, I just wanna say with the market, and then we'll get into summons, um, it's, it's really useful. Like this has been hard for me to wrap my head around. I mean, I knew it going into filming these videos because I would already played for a week, but the market is good. Um, in a lot of other games, the market's just a bit of trash, but things aren't very expensive. Um, you find some really nice things. If you're a spender and you want some more auto fights for, for six gems, that seems fine. Of course, I would never buy that. Um, but yeah, you, especially early on when you're just dying for gear and insignias and things like this, it's so good. One tip I will give you, besides, like I said in the very first video, or the day one video, excuse me, about you know buying out that first row so you can start unlocking all the things so you have more opportunities to get nice things like like cr summoning crystals and better gear and so on and so on, gold insignias. Um, save your refreshes. So I haven't done any refreshes yet today. You get, we can count them now, but I think it's either two or three free refreshes. 
and then I think it's two 500 gold refreshes and one 1,000 gold refreshes. So basically it's like five or six free refreshes. We'll count right now. I would say at the early on, it, later on it doesn't matter because I'm sure you max out uh, the quality, but certainly as your level's going up, so we're at level 24 now, um, your level's going up and probably the quality of content you have beaten is going up. Um, the the stuff in the shop's improving. So at the beginning of the day, you might see lots of blues and purples. At the end of the day, you might see a lot, a few more purples, and maybe some golds, you know? So it's towards the end of the day now. So I am gonna refresh it and we can do it together. We'll see if we find anything nice. So yeah, cool. I'm at the point where I might stop buying purples, but for now I'm happy. And also I'm always happy to buy the blue level one insignias just because I don't wanna farm like stage three and waste energy on that. So I'd rather spend like 3000 gold or however cheap us. So that was one free refresh, free, free refresh. that's two. So there's a gold thing. There's a, a purple ba bangle, that, not a ramble, a bangle. Okay, keep it moving. Okay, cool. So we got two free ones and now we're gonna 500 one. Let's grab this. And let's see, does it go straight to a thousand or we get another 500? Okay, so that's two 500 ones. I'm kind of, I'm not, I'm just kind of, oh, that's cool with attack percentage uh, bonus. We're, we're, we're hurting enough that we can, is the game gonna freeze? Does this happen to you guys? Please let me know, because it's it, it drives, that drives me nuts too. That's something they need to work on. Even if it froze in like a nicer way, I, it always catches me off guard. But yeah, cool. And two 1,000 refreshes. Okay, so it looks like it's two of each. So you get basically, for, for 3,000 gold, you're getting six refreshes, which to me seems really worthwhile. Um, cool, and honestly, from all the epic stuff I just bought and that we're gonna be farming slightly higher now, uh, once we actually start doing gear raids, uh, we probably never have to buy epic stuff from here again, unless it's calling our name for some reason. Um, cool, let's get into summons. So I think these are gonna be like, like I, I've touched on very briefly or hinted at, these are gonna be like the final newbie summons we have on the account, so what do I mean by that? At the beginning, we really need to fill out this roster. Um, now we kind of slowly have. I'm um, not exactly the way I would have liked, but you know, you see a little bit of purple here. We've got our boy Cratch. Um, we, ha we, we can make do, so we have to start being smart, and I think the best use of our gems or our crystals, what are they called? Diamonds, they've been, they've been called diamonds this whole time. I don't think I've called them correctly that once, but I think the best use of that is not buying summons unless you're we're really desperate on an event or a, a tournament or something. I think the best use is buying these guys right here, the big stamina potions, I think. So for 60 diamonds, you're getting 200 energy. I think that really, really adds up. And what I love is that you don't have to use it right away because it goes, um, I haven't bought any yet, but they accumulate over here. Excuse me, click the wrong button. Um, so it's not, not like, uh, they're, they're, you can save the use for later and there's no timer on them. So we only have four, but we're at the point in the quests and the storylines where we should get a lot more. And very soon I'm gonna start buying them out once we unlock the final skill raid and we can make a big push. Um, yeah, so I will also say if you're hurting for summons, uh, it's really easy to clear the monthly quest. So the month started very recently. We've only been playing about two days and we already cleared it. So that's five right there and you get one from this one. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. So I think we should have exactly enough. Let me double check this. Where is she? Here for two ten pulls. No. Okay. But I think there's a place we can get one more. Um, am I crazy in the campaign? Did, did I collect this yet? So, oh yeah, this is the other thing I want to say guys. Don't sleep on the hard campaign. It's called hard campaign. So you might think it's hard, but it's totally not hard. At least like it's not that hard chapters one and two. I uh, need to keep going, but like it's super worth it. Cause you're getting like skill potions. You're getting gems. Uh, you're getting this great stuff. Uh, did I not th look at that? that? I didn't three star that. That's crazy. Okay. Not a problem guys. Cause I know somewhere. Maybe it's in the weekly quest. Yes, once we summon 10 times, we're gonna get another crystal. So we'll do one temple, then we'll take that crystal and then we'll do another temple. And I'm not gonna use any of my gems unless both of those temples are all blues, then I will for sure rage and we will use some gems, I think, or some diamonds, excuse me. All right, so let's do some summonings and let's wrap this guy up. Oh, and we have our free summoning. I have not used that. Let's see some color, baby. Nunea kind of a usable rare, but we have so many healers, it's okay. Uh, cha, cha, cha. All right, oof. Oh my God, this drives me crazy. So I know I said never sell your fodder, but we have so many one-star champions at this point, we're gonna do it. Uh, let's sell like, I guess 20, right? So we have exactly 20 slots. Dismiss them, 
negligible amount of gold. All right, now let's do our pulls, please. Whew, okay, come on, show me some color, baby. Oh, okay, keep it going. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yona, another Amani. <laughs> so we got our mage and it's just for waking. Okay, and another Vortex. Crazy. Well, that's really good because we can use the Vortex for the Abomination Fusion, and now we don't have to feel guilty that I, I was putting all my effort into the other Vortex. And I guess it confirms that we're gonna go hard on Amani now, but uh, wow, we really need new champions. So that is a bit frustrating. Oof. I mean, it could be a lot worse. At least they both are quality champions. <laughs> Dang, we've had some strange uh, strange summoning, summoning luck on this account. Oh, and we got another one here for completing the weekly quests. So if we're desperate, we could use that one too. Um, okay, let's do another tenfold. Please, someone new, someone colorful. Yes? Come on. I really want a Yona. Okay, I don't even know who this is, but that's a mage. I really hope she's not like a support uh, crowd control mage. We'll have to, ch we'll check her out in one second together. But uh, she looks really cool. They really love having like the blinded cleric kind of women in this game. So many of the characters have this design. Um, okay, they don't say anything about our skills and stuff, but apparently we get 50 if we share. So let's claim those rewards. And I'm happy. Now we don't have to use our, our, our diamonds, our gem ruby diamonds either. And maybe we'll get some more nice stuff. She looks very cool. I really hope she's good. I, I'm not at the point where I know all the champions. All right, we'll call it right there. We'll start saving for the weekend. I'm sure we have an event coming with uh, nice summoning rates. Um, but let's go into the gallery, and that's we can end the video by checking out our new our new champion. I guess we'll go by all because I don't know what faction she's in. And guys, I've had this trouble a couple times in the past where I like can't find someone because I don't know the factions. If you just go on all, they actually fight by they sort by class. So we we saw the mage symbol, so she, we know she's a mage. So all we got to do is cross our fingers and hope she's a damage dealing mage. Um, especially since we're about to get a uh, Mari. Doesn't have a talent. Da, 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 da. Okay. Summons one Ice Seed on the ground. Ice Seed transforms into Crystal Bomb after a period of time. That's strange. When every, whenever activated, every or when activated, every attack immediately summons a Crystal Bomb. So she's got this kind of bomb damage over time thing, maybe? Summons Crystal Bomb again to enhance Crystal Bomb. <laughs> Stacking up to two times. Grade two Crystal Bomb deals magic damage equal to 350% attack. I mean, that's solid. Uh, grade three. 520% attack and flex freeze. Okay, so she is a bit of CC. She's not getting straight out damage. Uh, so she's, okay. I think she's gonna end up, we're obviously gonna use her because we're really desperate. She's not like exactly what we were looking for, but she's not like a straight crowd controller, uh, you know, like Mari or like uh, Aeon, wherever Aeon is. However, Aeon would be cool because she's a lord. Um, there she is. Uh, cool. All right, we'll wrap it up there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, another long video. I'll probably have to cut this one up a bit. And uh, sorry about if I keep not looking right at the camera with the webcam thing. Hope you understand. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Fast Didius.